Hi, this is Mr. Manley. This is a video solving a trigonometric equation, and this would be advanced. In this case here, I've got these two like terms, the 4 and the 3, and then of course notice that these are uh, like terms here. That term is the same as that term if we look at what's in parentheses. So we're going to subtract this one uh, on the right from the one on the left. So the 4 minus the 3 leaves 1. Of course, I'll subtract this 3 here. And then I've got this equation where I've got a trig value equal to negative 2. This looks like something familiar. For instance, if I had cosine of theta equal to negative rad 2 over 2. But, of course, it's a little bit more involved, right? I've got this 3 theta plus 2 pi over 3 as an argument, a value that I'm taking a secant of. And then this theta is an argument. So what will help us over this complexity is to do a substitution. And let's, I'm going to say, we will let uh, beta equal 3 theta plus 2 pi over 3. Then when I look at this, secant beta equal to negative 2. Now that looks more like the other equation that I have, the cosine theta equal to negative rad 2 over 2. Except I have a beta instead of theta. From here, I'm going to match this up with the equation that I know for secant. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So secant theta is x over r. Not x over r, it's r over x to be reciprocal. Secant theta is r over x. And my question is, then, is there an angle that has a secant value of negative 2? That's, what I wanna, that's how I want to solve for b here. What angle beta has a secant value of negative 2? So if I look at a unit circle, or if I just construct the part of the unit circle that I need, then I will find, I, what I need to do is I need to find, an, if I'm using a unit circle, then my r here is 1, right? If I'm going to use, if I'm going to use a unit circle. So I can do that, 1 over x. So I'm looking for an angle where 1 over x is equal to negative 2. Can you hear that question? I am looking for an angle where 1 over x is equal to negative 2. So you need to understand that question. If you understand that question, you could look here and see here on the unit circle, I have, well, not here, but I'm close. Because here I've got 1 half rad 3 over 2. Now I'm looking for 1 over x. And there's an x and there's a y. So if I look here at this x of 1 half, 1 over x, in this case, 1 over 1 half is 2. Almost what I need. I need negative 2, though. So let's just move over here on our unit circle. to negative 1 half, 
right through over 2. Now this x value here, 1 over negative 1 half, is negative 2. So that angle, that angle has the correct secant value. Because at this angle, the secant value, which is 1 over x, is negative 2. And where's that? What angle is that? That angle is 2 pi over 3. And that's something that I, I uh, wanted to say at the outset. I forgot. We're going to solve for theta. So if you look down in the bottom left, we're solving for theta all uh, possible values. So I want all possible values, and then I want that to be, and I want to express my values in radians. So I'm solving for all possible values of theta, and I'm going to express those values in radians. So that's why I'm using the 2 pi over 3. So that'd be 2 pi over 3. And then there's another one here, uh, right? This angle down here at 4 pi over 3 radians, that has an x value of negative 1 half. So that's also 1 over x is going to be equal to negative 2. So I've got two angles here. So I'm going to erase, erase this uh, formula that, that defines secant. And I'm going to say, all right, now I know that beta is equal to 2 pi over 3 or 4 pi over 3. But I don't want to solve for beta, right? I want to solve for theta. And I've said here, right here, I've said that beta is equal to 3 theta plus 2 pi over 3. So I'm going to back substitute that and say 3 theta plus 2 pi over 3 is equal to 2 pi over 3 or 4 pi over 3. And then solve this for theta. All right, now I'm going to, I want to take it in pieces because I need to uh, do something else here. So uh, breaking it up into pieces here, I took, I just took, uh, I said, 3 theta uh, plus 2 pi over 3 is equal to 2 pi over 3, so that's here. And then I said uh, that 3 theta plus 2 pi over 3 is also equal to 4 pi over 3, and I put that here. All right. Help us keep things a little straighter here. All right, so solving for theta on the left, 3 theta is equal to 0. And at this point, actually, uh, before I do that, I should say that remember I said I wanted all angles. All angles. So when I said that beta, remember originally beta was equal to 2 pi over 3, to get all angles I want to say plus 2 pi n. And that will cover me, cover us for all the coterminal possibilities. So it's not just that 2 pi over 3 is the solution, but any angle that lands, that terminates at that point is part of the solution. And there's infinite angles because it can keep spinning around the circle, right? So hopefully you understand that about trigonometry as we talk about trigonometry on, on a circle. So with that substitution and then subtracting 2 pi over 3 from both sides, uh, and I'm still, I'm going to have uh, 0 plus 2 pi n, and then divide by 3. So 0 over 3 is still 0, plus 2 pi over 3 n. And those are all the solutions, infinite solutions, every multiple of 2 pi over 3. Okay, and then um, this one up here, I think, is not, what is that going to give us? Um, I'm going to go up to the right here. Theta is equal to, 
Uh, 4 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3 is 2 pi over 3, right? 4 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3. And then divide by 3. Oh, and I forgot the 2 pi n again. So plus 2 pi n plus 2 pi n. And now divide by 3. And I've got 2 pi over 9 plus 2 pi over 3n. And then those are my solutions. You just can consolidate that into one, but so I'm going to say theta is equal. I don't really need the zero. I can just say 2 pi over 3n, comma, 2 pi over 9 plus 2 pi over 3n. So that's a good problem that's synthesizing a lot of concepts in trigonometry.